Hi, so this is the second video in the series on circle theorems. Um, this particular video explores this whole idea of the angle in the middle being double the angle at the outside um, with a slightly different question. It is pitched at A grade GCSE, but and hopefully uh, I'll be able to draw okay. I'm just using a whiteboard and a, and, a, and a pen, so we'll give it a go on this particular one. I'll give you an example of what the question looks like. Okay, so we've got here a circle and it says that there is um, a shape like that. And what we're given is that this um, angle here is 75 degrees. Okay, and there is a triangle that's been put into here and what they want to know is the value of this angle here let's call it angle x okay all right so now when you first look at that you think actually there's really not a lot of information there um, but it is one of the circle theorems that you need to be aware of and what we're actually doing is using that circle theorem to allow us to then use the information to find this value here so there's a couple of things you need to be aware of um, there are actually about four main circle theorems that you need to be uh, you need to know this is perhaps one of the most common ones and if you have a look at the post on facebook on maths wrap um, i'll put the link through to it and you can have a look at that and that'll give you the uh, the different types of circle theorems that you'll come across okay so with this particular one what this says is this angle here which is in the center of the circle is double the angle at the circumference so actually what we now know is that this angle here is 150 degrees, so it's actually double 75. And that's the first or one of the most common circle theorems that you're going to come across. The other thing that we know is that this is the centre of the circle, so that this line and this line are both the radius of the circle and they're also equal so hopefully now that's starting to become a little bit more familiar and you'll be able to now work out the value of this x because actually what we've got now is just a simple isosceles triangle where this is 150 degrees and then these two sides are equal well if that is the case then uh, the internal angles of an isosceles or any triangle add up to 180 degrees so the sum of these two angles is going to be 180 minus 150. So that's going to be equal to 30 degrees. So both of those total together are going to be 30 degrees. And also um, they're going to be equal to each other. Because this is an isosceles triangle, it means that this angle and this angle are exactly the same. Well, if they total 30 degrees, it must mean that each angle, so if I put here, each angle must equal 15 degrees. Okay, and actually that would answer the question that the value of x is 15 degrees. So what we've done in this particular question, which is um, a grade, is we've used two things that we know. The first thing is this bit in the middle where it's double the angle at the, at the outside and also the fact it's an isosceles triangle. So sometimes with circle theorems, you get these kind of questions where you need to just use a couple of different skills in order to be able to answer the question. Um, I hope that's okay for you. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Or on Facebook. Okay.